Good morning. How are y'all? Good morning. What? What? Oh, well, I get that. But think about it. We've got two days left, and then we get a week off, don't we? What? Like, is it somebody that you know? Is it? Oh, 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 okay. All right. Well, it happens. It's kind of what kids do. Well, it happens. All right, moving on to, yes, Tyler. I wouldn't stay on the Titanic. I might want to pick a boat that we know floats. Oh, well, there you go. So when it sinks, you can just zoom off into the sunset, right? That is fantastic. All right. Moving on, moving on. Oh, Rebecca. We're not moving on yet. Rebecca. Where did you go? Oh, there's a, where's, there's a museum? Totally need to go do that. Totally. All right. Love your stories. Let's, let's get on with our science, all right? Today is Thursday, November 19th, 2020. Today, our agenda is we are going to review our Google Meets etiquette, review our class norms, review and restart our mission statement and goals, review, then work on our science warm-up, and then we have a crossword puzzle, um, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Nope, nope, nope. All right, Google etiquette. Show up on time, work in a quiet place, have all your supplies, mute your microphone, make sure your video is on. Raise your hand or use the nod. I don't know if you guys noticed this. I noticed it yesterday. Um, well, it's not in this one now. I guess because I'm hosting the meeting. But if you go down to the bottom of your screen and that little gray bar pops up, there's now a hand raise button in there. I don't know if y'all can go look at it. I know yesterday I was in a meeting after school and there was a hand raise button. Do y'all not have it? Oh, well then never mind because I got all excited. What? Well, there was a, there's a hand raise button, like, you know how when you kind of move your mouse over to the bottom of your screen and you get like your, you mute your microphone, hang up or video on and all those things? There's now, yesterday in my meeting, there was a hand button so you could raise your hand. Y'all not have it? Oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. Never mind then. Just kidding. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, you don't. Y'all can just wave at me, right? Sit up fully engaged in your learning and leave at the end of the meeting, correct? All right. We get in trouble if we hang out. Our mission statement, stay on mute, but make sure that you are repeating after me. We will work together as friends and family. In Mrs. Metz class, to gain more knowledge to, to gain more knowledge to work and to learn. So we can all be successful. We will listen to each other, help each other, 
and encourage each other. We will make things happen and show the world. We will not accept anything short of the best. Good job, guys. Thanks, thanks. Our class goal is 100% of Mrs. Met students will show growth on unit assessments throughout the 2020-2021 school year. They will accomplish this goal by being purposeful and intentional with their time and learning. Guys, this is all on purpose, right? You hear Miss um, Jane say it all the time. Readers are leaders. Well, I'll add to that. Note takers are world changers. And I have another one. Knowledge is power, right? The more you know, the better you can be. Readers are leaders and note takers are world changers. And that's what we're here for, right? Y'all are the next generation to change the world. Are y'all ready for that? Our class norms, be kind, be respectful, and be working. Um, some of you, we are 14 weeks into school, and y'all still have a hard time being respectful because you love to just unmute and talk. That's kind of like interrupting somebody while they're talking, so let's not do that. Be working. Um, guys, I haven't checked yesterday's assignments. Um, I'm going to go do that while you guys are working on this crossword puzzle to make sure that things are getting done. Um, be working. You're, if you're sitting here in this meeting and you're like, I don't know what to do, you need to raise your hand and ask because you need to be working on something. And if you don't know what it is, then you need to come back to the meeting and you need to take a look. Or go on Canvas and see if there's an assignment in Canvas today, right, for science? Now, I know sometimes we have technology issues, All right. Um, I know sometimes we aren't quite sure what we're supposed to be doing. Please make sure you, you ask. And that doesn't mean that you unmute and go, I don't know what we're doing. That means you raise your hand and you, I, and you ask me, Mrs. Metz, what was the name of the assignment? Or Mrs. Metz, can you remind me how to get to the assignment? Ask me a question, right? Make sure that there is a question at the end of it. Come on. Yes, you are correct. You are absolutely correct. I don't know if y'all heard that, but sometimes if you have all your tabs open, there's course module tabs and you can get straight to your, your modules and see your list of to-dos, right? All right, today's learning objective is you will define and identify vocabulary related to properties of soils. I will know that you have learned this by reviewing your completed crossword. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. Not all of these words are words that we have written down anywhere, so you may have to go Google them, right? Go use an online dictionary and Google them. That's kind of, I mean, you've got a computer sitting right in front of you, you're all staring at it, yes? Use your resources. We're going to get to our warm-ups. The champ's expectations is you must be communicating at a level zero. If you need help, raise your hand and wait patiently. Your activity is your reading, thinking, solving, typing. I need to add that one. Your movement is to stay in your spot. Please don't, like, move all around the screen because that's kind of a distraction. 
Um, participation is you are 100% focused so that we can all be successful, right? All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to, for those of you who don't know how to get into um, the warm-up, I'm going to show you. So let me get into my class links. So I just opened up a new tab. I don't know why it went to my drive. I'm actually going to go up here and I am going to type in H-E-B-I-S-D class link. And I have websites that come up. I want to go to the launch pad for classlink.com, H-E-B-I-S-D. And it should automatically log me in since I'm already logged into the computer system somewhere else. I'm going to go down and find my Canvas icon. I'm going to open up the Mrs. Metz fourth grade card. I'm going to scroll down to the field of flowers. Now, we've only got one flower growing right now because this is the first week of the third six weeks, correct? So I'm going to go ahead and click on that sunflower, week 14. When there's multiple sunflowers, if you forget what week we're in, just check the dates, guys. Today is the 19th, so that falls between the 16th and 20th. So I'm going to click on week 14. Your science warm-up is right there on top. Click on the science week 14 warm up. And then go ahead and load your science week 14 warm up in a new window. It's the gray button. And today is Thursday. So I told I, I told you guys yesterday I'm only expecting you to do Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Not expecting you to do Monday and Tuesday. If you choose to do Monday and Tuesday, that's wonderful. I'm not requiring it. I will promise you it will not hurt you, though. It would only help you. So Thursday's warm-up says place an X in the box next to the statement that is not an example of the use of sound energy. The first one is a cell phone ringing and lifting the lid of a grill to make burgers. Two people having a conversation. A bat using echolocation to detect obstacles and find food. Eating a hot dog. Cats use their whiskers to detect if they can fit through a space. And using a Bluetooth speaker to listen to music. So I'm going to give you five minutes to place an X on the ones that you believe are um, using sound energy. Ready? Go. Our crossword puzzle. Um, I don't know if, or let me back up a second. So go ahead and up here in the right-hand corner, you have a submit button. Click on submit and save now. Go down to save now. You are going to submit this tomorrow. You're not submitting it today. So submit, save now. Don't submit, submit. Submit, save now. And I'm going to delete my answers and close my tab. So when I close my tab, it takes me back to, um, and I'll, I'll, turn, I'll present it again. It takes me back to, oh my goodness. It takes me back to my science warm-up page. Um, you can either go back to the home page and go down to week 14, or you can just go click on modules. If you go click on modules, it takes you back to where you find all your assignments anyway, right? Talia, do you have a question? No? Okay, that was from earlier. All right. So today is Thursday. So as you guys notice, I try to keep things pretty consistent. Now, I did change the title of your assignments because I know that we have science and social studies. So I wanted to make sure that we knew that science, and when you scroll down, you have social studies, 
but they're still labeled with the week number and the day number, right? So this is week 14, day four. This is Thursday. We're going to be doing properties of soils, vocabulary crossword. So if you click on it, we've covered some of these words, but we haven't written down all the definitions. Go ahead and open um, load science week 14, day four. So here's what I did. On this crossword, I added a word bank, okay? I added a word bank. So the first page is your crossword where you're gonna type or write in the words. The second page is your across definitions, your down definitions, and then your word bank, okay? your word bank. You have, um, oh, we get out of here at what, 9.05? That gives you 40 minutes to complete this. 40 minutes. Guys, remember what I told you yesterday. The first two, six weeks, we've been very, very graceful very understanding about late assignments. We are 14 weeks into our school year, guys. District policy is you get three days to make up an assignment, okay? But here's the catch. It's 10 points off each day it's late. And we design everything to be done in class. Yes, you have 40 minutes to get this done. Get it done. Click submit. I want it turned in today. If you don't get it done today and you turn it in tomorrow, it's 10 points off. Okay, please make sure you get it done today. Thumbs up. We all know what we need to be doing right now. If you do not know, right now is the time to ask. Mrs. Metz, how do I get to that assignment? Mrs. Metz, how do I work this? Mrs. Metz, ask now. Don't ask me three weeks from now. Brianna. Brianna.